soft skills for effective communication. We have already learned some communication skills. Today, we will learn about soft skills. So, what exactly are soft skills? Soft skills are characteristics that allow you to interact with people in a conducive manner. They allow you to build connections, face challenges positively and lead your organization to many successes. Soft skills include ability to communicate, work as a team, lead people, etc. The most sought after skill is communication. So we will learn some strategies to communicate more effectively. Let's start with emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is the ability to understand, use and manage your own emotions in positive ways and to recognize these in others as well. Think of an instance when you felt really angry. Did you raise your voice or behave badly with people? Looking back, was that the best way to respond? If you were calm, you probably would have acted differently. Developing emotional intelligence is important because there will be countless situations that bother you. Knowing how to handle your emotions will ensure that you do not jeopardize relationships. So what can you do to improve your emotional intelligence? 1. Pay attention to the way you react to situations. When faced with a challenge, how do you react? Are you short-tempered? Are you shy? Knowing these characteristics about yourself can improve your interpersonal skills. 2. Channel your emotions in a positive way. Let's take stress as an example of an emotion you may face. If you get stressed easily, what should you do? Everyone finds different ways to manage their emotions. You can try walking, listening to something comforting or talking to someone. By taking care of the negative emotion you are feeling, you will be able to concentrate on the task at hand. 3. Strive to always empathize with others. When you treat people with empathy, they are more likely to respond positively. Imagine your friend is facing a problem. Would you not try to help her by listening to her carefully and providing advice? The same approach should be used in the workplace because empathy is an essential quality to have in any relationship. Now that we have covered emotional intelligence, let's go to the next skill. Listening why is listening important? If you do not listen to people, it will be impossible to understand and learn their perspective. Relationships are effective only when both sides listen to each other. What can we do to show people we are listening? 1. Body language and facial expressions Maintain good posture and eye contact. Don't move around or look away unnecessarily. 2. Ask questions Asking questions shows you are engaged and thinking about the conversation. There is no need to ask questions you know the answer to. Ask only if you are confused or want to learn more. 3. Take notes this is more applicable to formal conversations, but taking notes has multiple benefits, including showing someone you're listening, providing yourself with information to go back to, and helping to commit the information to memory. Confidence Building 
Besides increasing your comfort level in tense situations, confidence in yourself will encourage other people to trust you. Confidence comes in many forms. Some may be confident in their written skills but not oral skills. Self-confidence takes time to build but it will benefit you greatly. How can we build confidence in ourselves and others? 1. Take advantage of positive affirmations and visualization. If you are nervous about something, reaffirm to yourself that you can do the given task and visualize yourself overcoming the challenges necessary to reach the goal you have set. 2. Confront your nervousness in small ways. Let's say you are nervous about speaking in public, but otherwise you are a confident person. Try staging your own version of public speaking. Have family and friends listen to you speak. Practicing will help to build your confidence for the actual event. Once we have self-confidence, we can do many things, including engaging others. Let's learn how we can do this. Engaging people. To convey information to people, we must engage them. Here are a few strategies that can help us. How can we interest people? 1. Speak with passion. If people see you engaged, they will be more willing to learn about the subject matter. 2. Relate to people. In smaller settings, take the time to learn about the people you work with. You will then be able to form conversations, speeches and documents that relate to everyone. 3. Pay attention to feedback. Be sure to read body language and ask questions to ensure that everyone has understood what you said. Pay attention to your soft skills and think about the situations where you face difficulties in communicating effectively. Do you think that these tips can help you? Make sure to discuss all of these with your trainer because Having a meaningful discussion with your trainer is also a type of communication. Finally, remember that talking and conversing with people improves communication skills and the better your communication skills, the better you will be able to communicate. And the better you can communicate, the more effective you will be both personally and professionally.